intuitive, I think. So this this actually works, by the way, with real like GPS uh, location. So if you actually walk around, uh, if this was enabled, you would uh, it would record your steps and measure your di distance to your destination. Uh, obviously, we don't have a lot of room to walk around, so we have like a mock kind of thing where you press a button and walk, and it'll it'll simulate you walking forward in the direction that your phone is pointing. So okay, let's see. It's pointing this way, so so the this the, the number at the top there uh, is the total distance that you have uh, to the destination in number of steps. So I mean, all you have to do is follow the leg and then walk for that many steps, and you'll get there. I think it's pretty simple. And then the number on the bottom is uh, the number of steps left until your next checkpoint. So if we follow the chicken leg and try to walk towards our checkpoint. Uh, as you can see, it's, we're actually getting further because uh, the chicken leg doesn't actually work right now. Uh, that's a feature, not really a bug. That was completely intended. So, so it just adds more, uh, uh, gets you more involved in, in this uh, in this activity. So you actually have to kind of guess uh, which direction that you're supposed to walk in. So this looks pretty good so far. Nope. Okay, now we're in the right direction. We can keep going. Yeah, that looks about right. And when you get close enough, nope, we're not close enough. Nope, that's not good. It's okay, we'll get there. Well, we, we we can't seem to get there, but you know, we'll we'll get there at some point if you just keep following it. So, you know, this really makes it simple. If you want to go to somewhere like, like Toronto.